here with us the Archbishop of Davao, Archbishop Romulo Valles, D.D., to share with us his Easter message. Happy Easter, malipayong adlaw sa pagkabanhaw, mga eksorbo ni Ati Kristo. Uban sa tibok simbahan, karong adlawa, nagsaulong kita sa kadaugan ni Kristo batok sa kamatayon. Ang kadaugan ni Kristo na nagdalaka na ito sa bagong kinabuhi, nagdalaka na ito sa kalubasan. Karong adlawa, ang Easter Sunday, ang ikatulo kaadlaw sa gitawag na Easter Dinuom, tulo kaadlaw na Sulemne, nga nagasaulong kita sa simbahan, sedya sa paghandong, maampuon ng paghandong sa mga hitabo sa itong kaluwasan. Pero adlaw mao ang katumanan, katumanan o kadaugan alang kanato pinali kang Isus. Nabanhaw na siya sumala sa iyang biingon, sumala sa iyang isulti. Ni atong Bere Santo, atong gisaulong, atong gihandong unsa kapahit, unsa ka lisod, unsa ka un unsa ka bugat ang gahom sa sala batok kanato. Si Jesus may representar kanato sa dalan sa krus, sa paglansang niya sa krus, sa iyang kamatayon sa krus. Ang iyang kamatayon, mao ang bahong sa sada, mao ang bahong sa kangitnitan, mao ang resulta kung ang tao dili mo dawat sa Diyos. Apan, sa dakong gugma sa Diyos, iyang ipakita nga mao nga ang kamatayon, na ato nakita sa Biyemi Santo, mabildi sa kahong sa Diyos, diha sa pagkabanaw ni Jesus. Busa, diha ang Jesus, Mao ang atong paglaong. Mao ang paglaong na kita mabuhi kayo. Kita mabuhi batok sa kamatayon. Dakong pagsaulog karon mga eksuon, ang pagkabanaw sa atong ginoo, uban kita sa tibuok simbahan sa paglipay o paghimaya sa Diyos. Malipayong Domingo sa pagkabanaw. Happy Easter ka ninyong tanah. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, APMR Group, Anflow Management and Investment Corporation, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, John Paul II College of Davao, DreamVet Group Philippines Incorporated, Phil Yamido and Family, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Children, Chino Chan, Casey Neng and a lot, Royal Bread House, Quilan's Food House, Teresita Villa Brille, T. Lino Trucking Services, I. Crafter Optical Incorporated, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Melvin Aviles, Davao LB Junk Store, Mr. Edwin Y. Kwa, Davao Bonifacio Motors Incorporated, Ahensia Kimson Corporation, Ideal Pawn Shop Corporation, Consolidated Plywood Industries Incorporated, Friends of Paul Lines, Chardon, Latches, Anonymous, Attorney and Mrs. Ellie R. Britannia, Protasio Tacundong and Family, Serge Estante, Jess and Melly Deason and Family, Agustin and Sophie Zuluaga and Family, Esper Laundry Services, Comfer Realty Corporation, Rose Vida Alcantara Dominguez, Ampi Icasas and Family, Brother Paul Lumanlan, Farmacia Quisa, and Vita Rivera's Bookkeeping Services. Offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most Holy Trinity. This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, 
for my dear ones and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offerers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring groups, Tagum City government employees headed by Mayor Alan L. Rillon, Natasha Davao headed by the branch manager Jasmine Balbes and the Gutierrez family of Skylines of Division, Thanksgiving intentions and blessings of Mayor Alan L. Rillon and family, Jasmine Balbes and family, Councilor Alan Zulueta and family of Tagum City, Jessa Huario and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rudy Mepico and family, Mr. and Mrs. Diego and Alejandra Barrientos, and Mrs. Caridad Patinople Labor Success in Business, Recovery and Healing of Mila Villa Abrilie, Jermaine Chu, Rodolfo Estera, Manuel Sem, Good Health of Dr. Ursula Valderrama and Willie and Indai Diaz, Birthday Intentions of Pasqua's Children, Attorney Elby Gutierrez, Clint Jacob Hoyo, and Isabella Celestine Generoso. For the eternal repose of Luciana Estera, Isidorico, Lorenzo, and the sixth death anniversary of Ruben Apostol Senior. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning. Easter Sunday is indeed a joyful day and more. It is also a glorious day because it holds the promise that like Christ, we too will triumph. Easter reminds us that we should not give up when hardship and problems come. Defeat is not the last chapter of life for the believer. For a Christian believer, there is a promise and the hope of a glorious hereafter. When that day, that happy ending comes, God will wipe every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death or mourning, waiting or pain, for the old order has passed away. The promised and hope for victory becomes a reality. Then indeed, we can sing and shout with joy, Alleluia, Alleluia, praise the Lord. To officiate the Holy Mass is Reverend Father Danny Montagna, RCJ. The choir during this Holy Mass is the Canticles of Carmelite, Carmelite Choir, Davao City. Come, let us sing joyfully and celebrate the banquet of love. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sons and daughters of Easter, like the first Christian community, we greet Jesus risen from the dead. We give him a big round of applause as well as our Christian life. <laughs> with the first Christian community, we say, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Anong sagot nyo? Alleluia, alleluia. Naluya na talaga. Wala pa nga. <laughs> Truly is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let's repeat. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Truly is risen. risen. Alleluia, alleluia. It's Easter Day. We greet each other. Happy Easter. Pakibati makatabi niyo ng Happy Easter. Happy Easter. 
My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the mercy of the Father. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Hati sa Diyos sa kahitasan Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people Let 
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path of the eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The resurrection of Jesus is the heart of the earliest Christian kerygma, that is, the public announcement of God's salvation through Jesus' victory over death. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all the suppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are all witness of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. These men God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as the judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good.
Christ's resurrection challenges the Christian to die to his corrupt and wicked ways and to rise as a new person, sincere and faithful. The second reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out all the yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough in as much as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast and not, and not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Altogether, we recite the sequence. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and love have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ, who is living. The glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting the shroud. Yes, Christ, my hope is a reason. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, with the first Christian community, I greet you all. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Para napagod kayo sa Easter celebration. Wala sa mga mukha ni nakangiti kayo may say Alleluia, Alleluia. Ulitin natin, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Truly. Very good. Palakpakan niyo ang Panginoon at palakpakan niyo ang bawat isa. Muli, pakisabi sa kanan mo, Happy Easter. Happy Easter. O sa kaliwa, pakisabi, si Kristo ay nabuhay. Si Kristo ay nabuhay. Men and women of Easter, this is a day filled with joy. Men and women of Easter, this is a day of life. Men and women of Easter, this is our triumph. Christ's victory over the cross. Christ's victory over the grave. We come to celebrate life because He is victorious. And no reason for us to be sad, but that is only a reason to be happy. Are you happy? Yes. When you say you are happy, it means a changed life. Did you change life? Oh, yes. mukhang wala. When you say you are happy, it means a new relationship. Did you enter into good relationship? Yes. Hopefully, yes. When you say you are happy, it means you will be with God and you will have always God in your life. Do you have God? Yes. Very good. Christ has been triumphant. He did not remain in the grave. That's why we have Peter, we have John. But before that one, we have Mary, as John described in the Gospel. They brought us to the tomb. But in the tomb, they realized that Jesus was nowhere to be found. That's why the disciples ran. Peter and John. And John said, he peeped inside and he believed what had happened. So beautiful. When Christ is triumphant, we can only proclaim with our profession of faith. That that is our victory as well. That he is greater than life, he is greater than death. And therefore, not to be afraid to die as well, not to be afraid to suffer, not to be afraid even to be sick, but rather, we will have one day the reaping of the victory. Christ is victorious. That is our victory. Amen. Amen. You see? Nakalimutan niya. <laughs> you can only say, I am victorious. Sige nga. I am victorious. With Paul, we can say, I run the race. And I won the race. Did you win the race? Yes. Because of Christ's victory. But you see, he did that only, and was not only raised to life, but rather he is life himself. That's the beauty of this day. That's why we all go forward to meet Christ. We all go forward to seek him. Beautiful was for Mary Magdala, it was only to bring something to visit the tomb. But the greatest miracle she did experience the resurrection of the Lord. Once we have God in our life, greatest miracles do happen. And the best miracle is we have God. We belong to Him. We are Easter men and women. We are of the resurrection. Not of death, not of sickness, not of worry, not of suffering. But we belong to Christ who was triumphant over death. This is our triumph. That's why we celebrate. And with a response, we say, this is the day the Lord has made. Pakidugtong? Very good. You see? Alam na alam niyo. Pakikanta? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Truly, this is a day of joy. The resurrection of Christ, triumphant over death, becomes also the triumph of all of us who have undergone pain and suffering. But my thoughts go in particular to our brothers at home and sisters, elderly and sick. Perhaps for many years, you too, you had been suffering and in pain, as well as in old age. But savor the day as well. This is your victory. And Christ came to heal us as well. Christ came to be with us. Do not surrender, but rather be strong and continue to live that life even in sickness. This is your victory as well, as well as our victory. We thank the Lord for the greatness of this day. Two weeks ago, last Sunday, two weeks ago of that Sunday, the Lord went to the grave of Lazarus. Remember that? But after that, the beautiful drama came in. He invited Lazarus to go out. Hopefully, we have re-examined our own grave. Hopefully, we have seen our own grave so that today we can go out with Christ. In the profession of faith, we say, He went down into the dead in order to raise us up for us to rediscover that life is beautiful, that life is meaningful, and that we do not remain in our grave. Did you see your grave last two weeks? Hopefully you did. But the drama there was so beautiful. When the Lord invited Lazarus to get out, Lazarus had a chance, even, even a choice, to say, Lord, okay na ako dito. Lord, okay na ako sa dilim. Lord, okay na ako dito sa mga worms. But then he moved out from the grave. 
He said, strip off of those things. And the Lord said, untie him. The victory of the Lord is our victory, and that would mean there is no more death for us. Though, of course, we will suffer the physical death. It's the only thing in the world that shocked us. When things are happening, truly death would shock us. But tonight, from our shock of death, comes now the beauty of the resurrection and life. Not only we can declare in our victory, life is beautiful. Is life beautiful? Yes. All the Scott Peck would say, life is difficult. But I always adhere to that beautiful movie in an Italian which says, La vita e dolce. Life is sweet. Life is beautiful. So life is beautiful when there is the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. Talagang naluya na talaga. <laughs> Pakisabi nga, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Pakisabi sa kanon, life is beautiful with the Lord. Life is beautiful with the Lord. Sa kaliwa pa yan, life is beautiful when you are there. Life is beautiful when you are there. To continue with, what does it mean to say Christ is risen, our victory in Christ is beautiful? That to make Christ rise every moment. That in our life, in our commitment, as well as today, we continue to proceed with joy in this victory of Christ. We will shout, we will profess never to crucify Christ again. We will shout, we will profess never to crucify every man and woman, our brother and sister, to the cross again. Because its moment would be a moment of resurrection. That I will share my life and make their life easy as well and comfortable. That Christ is risen. That when we give forgiveness, we share love, more punctual in our office, more dedicated to the work of the society, Christ has been raised again and continue to raise. We will never crucify him again. When we go back to our society, to the work where we are, when we say there is no more corruption, then truly Christ is there. He is risen and he will continue to rise. No more pain and scourge of that, but only life for the common good of our people. Because we do care, because we are men and women of the resurrection, but because we have Christ himself, there is life in Christ. Kaya, that you have to be in Christ in your home, in your office, wherever you go. That to say, this is our church, this is our world, this is our humanity. That Christ came to redeem as well. We are ransomed by the blood of Christ. Thanks be to God. Kadiba, last Friday when we knelt down, it was very touching. We can only say, thank you, Lord, for dying for me. You are the reason why he died. And he will be the reason why we will continue living our life to the full. Amen. Amen. Alam you, for the last few days, I was thinking to myself, I go, Lord, is there resurrection? Why? Palm Sunday, a friend died. And then, very close friend. And then they said, Father, can we bury her Holy Thursday? I wanted sana until today. Pero sa'yo ang ganda ng reason. Father, we want our mom to rise with the Lord. So, wow, so beautiful. Believing that Christ truly is the Christ of life. That today, we are children of the light. You see, the light is lighted. The light will continue to stand to guide us. That what it means, Christ is victorious. The light is already there. No more darkness, but only life in the light. No more pain, perhaps in that way, but only the light that goes back to the resurrection of the Lord. No more of other things that are unnecessary, but only the light that will continue to guide us. And later on, when you will profess your faith, you will light that candles as well, telling Christ, Christ, you are my first love, as I am your first love. And I will celebrate always that love that you have for me. You are the reason, I am the reason, the victory of Christ. Victory to life, he will be raised always, and he will always be a sign for us that resurrection is truly our life, that we will continue to live in the light of Christ. Do you believe you are men and women of the resurrection? Yes. You went out of your grave for these days. Sige, sino sa inyo nag-confess? Ay, wala, isa lang. Ah, so you, you did not go out of your grave. Ah? You did not, oh, may chance pa kayo for this week until the next Sunday, which is the Divine Mercy Sunday. Go out from that grave as well. It's a continuous invitation of the Lord. 
I pray that in your home, Easter is still experienced. I pray that in your home, you bring Christ. I pray that on the cross of Christ, the light is there. I pray that we will continue to live to that essence of the Easter mystery. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia, alleluia. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, and your response is, I do. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do and all his empty promises. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Christ is the Lord of life, raised up by the Father. In turn, He will raise up by His power. Let's address our petitions to the Heavenly Father as we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May the Church proclaim with all courage your Son's victory to a world living in sin, in agony, and in fear. We pray. Father, Father we beseech you, hear us. May the ecclesiastical and government leaders die to their personal interests so that like the Good Shepherd, they may serve your people faithfully, we pray. Father, Father we beseech you, hear us. May all the baptized believers die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God, we pray. Father, Father we beseech you, hear us. May there be new hope and life for our nation through the advent of a capable and principled leadership, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. For the sick and the suffering who are listening and watching this celebration, that Jesus may bring hope and joy while in their earthly journey, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. That all the sponsors, donors, and cooperators become witnesses of faith, hope, and charity through their generosity, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. Father, your Son conquered the power of death, that our celebration today raise up and renew our lives through Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And with this bread and with this song, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate, the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to His second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death 
you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Lomero and George, our bishops, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give them admittance in your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng paranghal at papuri, ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawa lang hanggan. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Give us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we all is free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As men and women of the resurrection and the light, we offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayers of the sick. Father, His Son accepted our sufferings to teach us the virtue of patience and human illness. Hear the prayers we offer for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, or disease realize that they are chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to Christ in His sufferings for the salvation of the world who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Again, to each one of you, to your families, and to the greater community, we repeat our greetings of Happy Easter and bring home the message of Christ risen from the dead. Happy Easter po uli. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. <laughs> Looking at you coming from the different walks of life, even as far as Tagum, I say truly that Christ is risen among us. Thank you, City Government of Tagum with Ma'am Edna. Our greetings as well to you, our beloved Mayor and to Vice Mayor and to all the officials as well as to every member of the Tagum community, but of course for the whole region as well. Palakpakan po natin, as well as our sponsors, the Gutierrez family, and all families who are here. Christ has been raised. That is our triumph. Live your life and make it meaningful. Do not be afraid even when there are sufferings and sickness. And lastly, 
Christ should be risen every day of our life. No more death and darkness, but only resurrection. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.